Hi ladies, my name is Marin, and I want to welcome you to Thankful Thriftiness. I am so excited for today's video because I finally get to work on a long-awaited project. Recovering our ugly pillows. We would not have bought these things in the first place, but they came free with the couch that we got because it was like, I think the store was closing or something like that. So we got them for free and I said one of the first things I do when we move in and get married is recover these pillows. It's been nine months, so let's just say life got in the way. But I am finally getting the chance to follow through with what I wanted to start. As you can see behind me, we've got a whole couch full of pillows, and they're all pretty ugly. However, this is thankful thriftiness, and we do not like to pay full price for things unless we absolutely have to. Griffin and I stopped by Joann's a little while ago, and we found a sale on top of clearance, y'all. I had never heard of anything like that in my life, but it was awesome. So on this project, I spent exactly $19.83. I bought all this fabric with a gift card, which I earned through Ibotta. I will link that below to you, as well as a video explaining how to use it. It's pretty fabulous. I'm going to show you how I make each of the three types of covers for these pillows. I am not yet decided whether they're going to be very simple or a little bit more fancy. We will see when we get there. I just still need to think through it. So this is definitely going to be more of an informal vlog style video, as you can probably tell already. Okay, I'm gonna start by showing you each of the three pillows and then I'll take you into what we're going to do with them. First of all, we've got these gray ones. These are fairly tolerable, but I am not a huge fan of the material and it just doesn't really go with the color blue. I don't know if you can tell in this video or not. It's a little bit more of an orangey tinted gray. So definitely gonna cover these up, although I will say these are the less of the three evils. <laughs> Probably the least of the three evils. Then we have this odd, I don't even know what you call this pattern, but y'all, there's like gold. I don't know if you can see, but there's like gold in between here. Like, ew. Not saying anything against gold. It just does not belong with taupe blue and this really strange color gray. And last but certainly not least, we have the statement pillow. I am super excited about this one. I will show you later what I plan to do with it, but this will be kind of the one that is cute and a little bit more stylish than the rest. So before I start sewing, there are a couple things I need to explain. First of all, how we're gonna do this. These pillows are super low quality, so there's no pillow inside this covering. It's literally just stuffing. I don't even know what they use to make the stuffing. It kind of scares me. We are going to recover the pillows. I was thinking about just pulling the stuffing out and making new pillows, but I want to be able to wash the covers. So we're just gonna use this as the pillows underneath. At the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Time is wasting, so let's get right into it. Throughout this video, I'm also going to be sharing with you some sewing tips and tricks that will just make your sewing experience a whole lot smoother. If you'd like me to do a sewing basics video or series, please let me know in the comments below. So before you do anything with fabric, make sure that you wash it on whatever cycle you plan to wash whatever you're making it into on. So for this, I'm assuming I'll just use cold, so I washed it on cold and I dried it. Then make sure that you iron all the wrinkles out. It'll make it A, a lot more pleasing of an experience, and B, it will just help you in the long haul keep everything neat and tidy. With sewing, you want a lot of things to line up, so ironing helps you achieve that a lot more easily. I also have two navy blue pillow shams that came with my bedspread, which we will use for two of the pillows. So essentially, it's free fabric. I think we should tackle the least exciting job first and probably the most daunting. So, let's get sewing. That didn't work like I thought it would. I am so glad I didn't just start cutting because I came up with an idea. I kind of like this piping around the edge, this white piping, and I don't really have things to do piping right now, so I thought, how could I keep this piping? And I came up with a thought. What if somehow I made a gather in the center here on each side 
and that kind of pulls it all in together. Granted, it won't be the straightest piping on the edge, but it'll be better than it is now. So if I gather it all, something along like the lines of this in the center, and put like a button, or even sew something cute, I think we could pull it off. So I'm going to start by flipping this inside out, I won't deal with that one right now, and putting the pillow inside. I'm going to be sewing with the pillow inside, so I have to be careful, <laughs> really careful, not to sew into the pillow. I'm going to pin the corners where I want the piping to be, just to make sure that I'm getting this right. I haven't yet decided how I want to close these pillows up. I'm debating between using buttons or just doing like a fold in the back with maybe a button to secure it or no button at all. We shall see. I'm also going to pin the midway point of where the piping should be. We're just trying to center everything up and set ourselves up for success here. So as you can see right now, we've got this little lip or fold in the back. That's what's supposed to hold it closed. It won't suffice for the way we're gonna do these pillows. So I'm debating between getting some buttons and lining them up there. Uh, we'll just see how this project ends up going. The nice thing is once we've done this with the one pillow, the other one should be fairly easy. So I got some navy blue thread here and I am threading a needle. Always sew with the same color thread as you have fabric because otherwise it will be pretty obvious that it's a home sewn thing that wasn't done, you know, the best. Unless you're very neat with your stitches. I am not at that point yet because uh, it can be decorative and cool, but I am just not there. So. I'm going to do a double knot, well, looks like a triple knot, to make sure it's on there nice and tight, and then I'll start gathering. Once I've got a decent gather or something along the lines of what I like, I'm going to tie it off. I'm going to leave it a little bit looser than I originally thought just because in case I want to get rid of the piping. And as always, there's thread tangles to deal with. Gee. Now I'm just going to flip it over and do it on the other side. Okay, so now that I've finished sewing up my little gathers, I'm going to take this pillow out and see how it looks. It looks like it gathered pretty well, but let's put the pillow in the other way and double check. So I am fairly impressed. I think, I think it's gonna work. Um, it could get a little challenging in the middles. I'm wondering if I should just get rid of the white piping. I think I might just get rid of the white piping, but leave the same design, and then I'll probably make something out of a different fabric to put in the middle here. But overall, I think that this is gonna work. Okay, so I just finished the second of the two navy blue pillows, at least what I can get done today. Again, I'll finish getting buttons and making whatever decoration we're gonna put in the middle probably tomorrow. But now we're going to move on to the next set of pillows. This should be the simplest. I don't want to use any buttons. I want to simply make a fold in the back. I'll show you what I mean. I can't think of a very good way to say it. A pocket is probably a better way to hold it all together. So Griffin actually found this uh, on clearance on sale. So this was super cheap. I love the look of it. Note that I am using the solid colored pillow for the lighter material and I use the darker material over the more patterned pillow because the pattern could possibly show through on this and that is not what you want. You want it to look as clean and like it was made that way. So I'm gonna place the pillow somewhere in the middle here. Something along the lines of that. And I just wanna see. So we need about that much for each pillow, okay. Now if I make the pocket, I'm going to need about that much. So 
So hopefully you're starting to see what I mean by pocket. We're going to have, I think, an equivalent of this. Um, once again, fold it over, and then you kind of open this up to pull the pillow out. So if we pull it down a little further, that might help our case. So I'm just going to pin this hem for this pocket, and then I'll move on to the other side. We're going to cut along here. Again, making sure to keep everything nice and flattened out. This is why we ironed in the beginning. So now I'm going to pull this down closer to me so I can actually work with it. And I'm going to measure whatever seam allowance I did here. So about there. I have a wonderful fabric marker, which I highly recommend you get one, but it's actually dying on me, so that's why I'm unable to really measure and mark properly on this project. But my tip of the day is, if you don't have a good fabric marker, get one. I will link one below for you. Not an affiliate link, as usual, just my recommendation. It saved my life when I was making my wedding dress. so. Now that I've cut my piece of fabric, I'm just going to hold it up to the pillow and make sure that it's going to work, because that is not a mistake that we want to make. <laughs> I'm going to fold, I think a half, no that's probably more like a three quarter inch hem, so fold it over three quarters and then another three quarters. If I were not uh, in a time crunch, I would iron it out nice and flat to make sure that we get it right, but as no one will really see this part of the pillow. I have to get it done. I'm just going to fold it. As you can see, my house is becoming more and more of a wreck. This is what always happens on sewing day. So beware of that. And I have guests coming tonight, so I'm a little bit nervous. So I have successfully hemmed both sides of this fabric. This will save us from doing four seams in a square all around the pillow. I will show you what I mean. I'm sorry if I'm being confusing. At the end, this will all make sense. So I'm going to just sew it up real quick. I think I have about a three quarters of an inch seam allowance, which is the width of the fabric in the hem, if that makes sense. <laughs> a quick FYI, I'm going to break the rule I told you earlier about using thread that's the same color as your fabric. Two reasons. One is there is navy blue in this fabric, and two is we're not going to see the seams. So just a note in case you're thinking, Marin, you hypocrite which is kind of true. We now have two beautiful pillow cases or pillow covers, pillow shames, whatever we're calling them, that I can now fit to the pillow and I literally have four more seams to do. Two more seams and then two to reinforce it. Whenever you are sewing something that is holding up a structure of something, or is going to be used a lot, like people using pillows, people maybe having pillow fights. I'm not admitting to having pillow fights, I'm just saying it could happen. <laughs> you always, always, always want to at least do a double seam unless you have a serger, which that would do another seam for you in and of itself. Okay, so I've sewed this and now we're going to test it and see if it fits on the pillow. The moment of truth. Unfortunately, well, actually, kind of fortunately, I reinforced the seams uh, right near where it's going to fold over to make sure it really sticks, but at the same time, that also means there's no turning back. And, let's see here, you know, it's pretty good. Honestly, I could have even moved that seam more towards the middle, but I'm pretty pleased with it. You do get this open area here, but I'm trying to think of a good way to fix that. I'm thinking of getting some Velcro and just putting it like 
right there. Originally, I was not going to do this, but it just kind of worked out that way. So, we shall see. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. It's going to be pretty comfy. Um, so this one's pretty much done. Just got to reinforce the seams and do the other one. Awesome. Okay, so I officially have to tap out for the day. I've been sewing for hours, and I can't figure out what in the world to do with this pillow. So, hopefully I'll be able to pick this up again tomorrow, and I will let you know. I'm just praying that as I sleep on it, an idea will come, because this has been such a pain, because it's not like one complete piece of fabric. I ripped out what I had originally done with it, as you can see, but I'm not pleased with just leaving it plain. So. I'll talk to you all tomorrow, I'll let you know what I end up figuring out how to do and I'll show you how I do it. This is just sewing and I want to show you guys that sometimes things do not go according to plan and you have to improvise. So have a wonderful night and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hi ladies! So it's day two of pillow recovering for me and I was able to sleep on it and I figured out a very easy solution for the baby blue pillows. Remember how I told you that the pillows, at least one of them, had split open? I thought, why am I even keeping it around? The pillows aren't that comfy. So I just used the pillow shams that we were recovering it with. I took out the um, gathering I had done in the middle and I just made a simple pillow and I stuffed it with the stuffing. And they are way squishier and comfier and way cuter than they would have been if I had just recovered them anyway. So, that was a quick and easy fix to that problem. So for this last pillow, this will be the statement pillow, I made a pillow cover out of some denim material, some really light denim, that was very similar to the covers we did for these pillows, meaning they had the pocket in the back to hold it in, and it fits perfectly. Now I am embroidering something on it. I decided I think I'm going to embroider Cuddle Weather because I saw that on a pillow one time and in his family we like cuddling so I thought that would be super cute to have like a pillow that says Cuddle Weather. So that is my project for this afternoon. So far I've got the C and part of the U. So I think I'm going to turn on something, although I don't normally watch movies like by myself. I might turn on um, James Harriet if you've never heard of it. Check it out. If it's still around, I will link it below. Super calming and peaceful. Yeah, all creatures great and small. I don't know if that rings the bell or not. So, I will work on this and I will let you know when I'm done. And after this, I think all my pillows will be covered. So, thanks so much for watching. I will get back with you soon. Hello again, ladies. It's been about a week since I last filmed, but I finally finished up the last pillow. Finally, like two minutes ago, put the last stitch in the last pillow and tied it off. I wanted to show you the completed product as well. If you are still with me at this point watching this video, I appreciate you very much. I myself probably would not have sat through the whole video just because of all the craziness and indecisiveness. But truth be told, that is what it's like when you're sewing without a pattern. But now I want to show you the completed result and my living room looks a whole lot more cheerful and there's nothing that makes me want to gag when I walk in the door. I'm especially in love with this little pillow. It is my statement pillow, embroidered using a simple chain stitch, and it made it go by pretty quickly. I did my outline with a fabric pen so I could wash it off really easily when I was done. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope it inspired you to start a project you've been wanting to. Let me know in the comments below a uh, project or really anything you've been hoping to start but haven't had the chance to yet. Have a wonderful rest of your day and thanks for stopping by.